Hi everyone and welcome to my 50 Christmas craft series for 2019. I'll be showing you how to make 50 different Christmas crafts this year and I hope you'll be back for all of them because we'll be having a lot of fun. Today I'm making this gorgeous snowflake wine bottle. It's equally striking day or night and will make a beautiful addition to your decor or a great gift. If you like what you see here, please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button below. If you know anyone who would like this video or my channel, please share this link because every view and every subscriber really helps enable me to keep creating videos for you. And if you'd like to see more of what I do, you can follow me on Instagram or take a look at my blog. I also have a Facebook group if you'd like to share all the wonderful things you make. The links to all of these are in the description below. For today's project, you're going to need a bottle. Now, I like using wine bottles because they're easy for me to get a hold of. Um, if you don't drink and you don't have a source for wine bottles, then you can go to the Dollar Tree and pick up any number of bottles for, again, the same size bottle as my wine bottle is almost, um, and it's like, just a dollar. So they are easy to get a hold of and decorate. For this project, I'm going to use this cobalt blue wine bottle. And I have already taken off all of the labeling and I've thoroughly washed it inside and out so it's ready to go. The first thing I want to do with the wine bottle is I want to go ahead and frost it. So for this, because it's a colder area of the country, I am using my gallery glass window color. And this is a paint that makes it look like the bottle has been frosted. If you live in a warmer area of the country, then you can use some of the frosted glass um, spray paint, which is absolutely the quicker and easier method to do this. But this works beautifully, and I've used this before on one of my diorama ornaments, and I really do like the results, so we're going to go with this. Now this is a thicker paint, so it's real easy to use. Just open it, and you can just a little bit out and you can see a little bit of liquid came out at first but generally the paints a thicker paint because it is um, a uh, made to um, use on windows so you don't want it running and then I'm just going in and I'm just dabbing it sponging it all over the bottle and I'm just going to cover the bottle just like this and as you can see a little bit goes a long way and this is not taking me long at all all right, now here I'm taking a Dollar Tree snowflake and I am working on shaping this to the shape of the bottle. So I'm heating it up with a heat tool while my cobalt bottle is drying and then while it is warm and pliable, I am holding it against another bottle and just kind of um, forming it and bending the warm snowflake into the shape of that bottle. And this takes a few minutes to do. Now, as you can see, I'm holding the snowflake with my bare hands as I'm using my heat tool. I'm not really holding it close enough or long enough for that heat to really affect my fingers. And the snowflake itself isn't getting very hot, so I'm not needing the towel. I'm just holding it down and letting that plastic uh, harden up again and cool off in the shape of the bottle there. And the reason I'm using this second bottle is because the frosted glass paint is still drying on the cobalt bottle. Otherwise, it would not be an issue. Um, it wouldn't affect the paint. It's just not that hot. But um, I go in and I heat this up a little bit and I hold it against this bottle a few times. And as you can see, it's starting to attain that shape really nicely. And it'll be ready to use in just a minute. Now that my bottle has a couple coats of the frosted glass paint on it, what I'm going to do is use some glamour dust in blue and I'm going to coat the bottle with this blue glamour dust. And this just gives, it's not too glittery, it just gives a nice 
sheen with just a little bit of sparkle. I've given the Glamour Dust a chance to dry in the bottle, and look how beautiful this is. Just, I don't know if you can see that sparkle on camera like I can see it here. It's absolutely gorgeous. So for our next step, what we're going to do is we're going to take some of this fake snow here, and I don't know if you can see that. It's the real fine snow that you can pick up in the bags. It's basically shredded styrofoam, and if you can pick some up, um, go ahead and do it. It's great for Christmas crafts as well as I use it with paper crafting sometimes. And maybe after Christmas I'll do a tutorial on some of the ways that I use this in other craft projects. Alright, now the first thing we're going to do with the bottle is prepare it for our snow. And for that I'm going to use Mod Podge. My bottle's getting a little low here, but that's okay. And I'm just going to brush it a thick layer around the bottom of my bottle. And I don't need to get it around on the very bottom. And I don't need it to be real level because I want it to look just like an uneven snowfall like there's a few drifts and so forth going on um, on the bottle because we're going to cover all this with our snow. Go ahead and get that put down and what I'm going to do is just take this and start just fluffing it over the Mod Podge and then I'm going to press it gently down. Once I get enough on there I'm not going to get Mod Podge all over my fingers and just lightly tap the bottle as I work it around. This stuff does get everywhere. It flies around if you're not careful. Alright, there we go. Now we are just going to set this and let the Mod Podge dry it around the bottle. Um, be sure it's got the uh, fake snow well adhered. Alright, now that the Mod Podge has had a chance to dry and our snow is adhered, I had gone in and sprayed this with a good um, 
liberal coating of hairspray just to be sure this was held on good and good and tight and that hairspray just helps keep this on just a little bit better for the next step I'm just going to lay this out on a uh, a foam plate just so it won't roll around on me and <coughs> I'm going to take the snowflake that we had bent earlier and we are going to glue it to the front of our bottle and to do this I'm just going to use a little bit of hot glue All right, now after I'd gotten the snowflake um, attached with hot glue to the bottle, I went ahead and hot glued a large blue rhinestone onto the center of the snowflake just to give it a little more glitz. And I also found six small rhinestones, which we are going to glue onto these largest um, arms, I guess you would call them, that come out of the snowflake. And to do that, I'm going to use just the tiniest bit of hot glue. And I'm going to use my little tool here to hold these. Just so I don't get burned, because I will burn myself if given half a chance. I'm just going to put them up near the top there. And the snowflakes that I pulled out that I found, um, there are some that are a lighter blue and some that are a darker, I'm sorry, the little rhinestones. I think I just called them snowflakes. So I'm going to alternate them. just so that those color variations look intentional. And I'll put the link for this little tool down in the description. If you'd like to have one, it's really handy. You can pick up just the tiniest of things. It's great for paper crafting. It's good for any crafting, really. As you can see here, it's great for helping me pick up and move these small items around. All right, that's coming along pretty nicely, isn't it? Now we just need to pay a little attention and give a little love to the top of our bottle here. Now for the top of the bottle here, I'm going to use some of this tinsel garland. This came from Walmart, but they carry very similar uh, garland over at Dollar Tree, so you can pretty much pick up everything you need there. And what I'm going to do is just start wrapping this around the top of the bottle. But to get it started, I'm going to wrap that wire around itself here just to give it a good hold. Then I'm going to start coming around the bottle. And I want to have a full and festive look at this. Just going to keep working our way around to the top. And then I'm going to come back down Like that because I want that to really have a nice thick full feel at the top and then I'm just going to cut that wire off and then I'm going to bring it around to the back I'm just going to hot glue that making a lot of noise. I'm just going to hot glue that right in here. And 
Now to add some finishing touches on the bottle, I am going to use these little uh, plastic snowflake stickers. They're reflective. Um, I have them in silver and blue, and we're just going to add a few around the main snowflake. Right, and to do this, I'm actually going to use a little bit of hot glue and not rely on whatever stickum is on there. I don't want them falling off. So there is our snowflake bottle. Absolutely love it. It is gorgeous. Um, the only thing I'm not sure about is this around the top. Now for the very last step for our bottle, we are going to add the lights. So I'm just going to start pushing these down into the top of the bottle. And this is a strand of Dollar Tree lights. Now you can also use the wine cork lights if you have those. I don't have any that are in this cool white. I just have the warm white colored um, cork lights right now, and they do not look right in a blue bottle. I will tell you that right now. So I am going to have this battery pack that I'm going to have to attach to the outside of the bottle, unfortunately. Um, but I am going to pick up some more of those cork lights because I absolutely love those things. They are so handy. Now for this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hot glue this on the very back, back here of my wine bottle, and then I'm going to add some hot glue to the wire so you cannot see this from the front. Otherwise, you're going to have this showing somewhere. And that is absolutely what you do not want to ruin the look of your um, decoration here. So I want to be sure that the half that opens to change the batteries is facing outward and that the wire is the closest to the back. I'm just going to add some hot glue to the battery pack here. Oops. Maybe some glue in my glue gun would help. There we go. All right, be sure I have that in a location that won't show. There we go, from the front of the bottle. And again, just a tiny, tiny touch of hot glue back here just to hold this in place. And this is on the low temp. It's not going to melt these wires. It doesn't stay hot long enough to get through that that wiring there. Okay, 
There we go. And I just took it back and forth. Oops. Sorry, that was off camera. I just took that back and forth there just to hold that in place. So it does not ruin the look of our bottle. And then again here, this is glued onto the back. All right, there we go. Everything is secured now. All right, so here is our finished um, snowflake wine bottle and it's sitting over here on our little bar area. And as you can see, it lights up just beautifully. There is the main snowflake. I love the way that frosted glass um, paint just really diffuses those lights in the bottle. And up the top here, I added a wine bottle stopper just for decoration. It just happened to be blue, so it went perfect with it. And you really cannot see that battery pack unless you're really over here toward the back. Look at that. Once you start moving around toward the front of the bottle, again, you have to get way over there to see that battery pack. So even with the Dollar Tree uh, lights and not one of the cork lights, it still works out really well. So let's go ahead and turn the lights off and you can see how the bottle looks set up if you don't have the lights on. All right, so here is the bottle, the way it sets without the lights on. And you can still see that blue comes through really beautifully. And it just looks like a nighttime winter scene with that main snowflake there falling toward the snowy ground and all the little snowflakes following suit. And you can just see all the sparkles there that would be maybe snowflakes further away, but I absolutely love the way this came out. Um, and again, the top there is the only thing I'm not happy with, and I may change that out later, but I absolutely love the way this bottle came out. So let me know what you think, and I will see you soon with another video. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. If you like this video, please be sure to hit that like button as well as share it with friends who may also enjoy it. If you like my channel, hit that subscribe button and when the notification bell pops up, be sure you hit that as well so you never miss a video. And as always, have a great day and stay crafty.